A transformer is used to increase or decrease the voltage of an electrical supply. It's essential for transmitting electricity from a power station to your home, but it's also essential for using your mobile charger to adapt the 230 volt electricity from your main supply to the 5 volts needed to charge your mobile phone. In this video, uh, I'm going to be looking at two aspects of transformers. First of all, explaining how they work, and secondly, showing you how to use the transformer equation. Physically, this is all the transformer is. On one side, you have a primary coil, that's a coil, that's wire that comes in, it's wrapped around and comes back out again. And on the other side, you have the secondary coil coming in, wrapped around and back out. On the primary coil, you would uh, attach uh, your supply of, of power, whether that's the power station or your main supply. And on the secondary coil, you'd attach whatever your load is. So that could be a mobile phone or it could be uh, something much bigger, some lights or... Uh, an entire building perhaps. In between we have an iron core here. Now what's really important to remember is that there is absolutely no current flowing through this iron core. The electricity is kept within the coils and nothing flows between them. Firstly let's think back to when you studied electromagnets. If you run a current through a wire, through any wire, it sets up a very weak magnetic field around the outside of that wire. Now if you wind that uh, that wire up into a coil, what, what that will do is it will squash together all of our all of those uh, magnetic field lines to create something like this. This becomes a magnet with a north pole here and a south pole here. To create an even better electromagnet we just need to put an iron nail through the middle of that coil and it will become a much stronger electromagnet. This is almost exactly how the primary side of a transformer works. The current in the primary coil flows around here. That makes the iron core into an electromagnet. Now there's just one difference. Instead of using direct current that would flow continuously through our primary coil here, in a transformer you always have to use alternating current. The difference being that in alternating current the electric current shuffles backwards and forwards 50 times every second in the coil instead of just flowing in one direction. Now this is really important because instead of creating a, an electromagnet with a north up here and a south up here, instead the north and south will switch round 50 times every second so what was north will become south up here and north down here and vice versa 50 times a second north and south will switch direction. Now to understand how the secondary side of the transformer works we need to think about how electrical generators work. When you move a coil of wire in a magnetic field, you will induce electricity in that coil of wire. That's how a generator works. Now, the clever bit about transformers is, even though there's nothing physically moving, the, the core and the coils are completely stationary, the magnetic field that is in this core, or around this core, is switching direction 50 times every second. So as far as the, the secondary coil here is concerned, it is seeing a moving magnetic field and so an electrical voltage will be induced in the secondary coil. The more wires we round, wind around this secondary coil the bigger that induced voltage is going to be. That's where our transformer equation comes in and uh, we'll come to that in a moment but you can see here the primary coil has fewer windings than the secondary coil. This means that the voltage will be increased by this transformer. Time for a quick summary then. We have four steps to success. First of all, an alternating current flows through the primary coil and this creates a magnetic field around the iron core. But that magnetic field is constantly changing direction because that electric current is alternating. Number three, the movement of the magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary coil. That's working just like a generator. And number four, the more turns of wire we have in that secondary coil the bigger that induced voltage will be. So that gives us control over whether the transformer increases or decreases the voltage. Here is our transformer equation. It, all it tells us is that the ratio between the voltages on the primary and the secondary coils is equal to the ratio between the number of turns in the primary coil and the number of turns in the secondary coil. For example, if we had a primary voltage of 230 volts, that's the mains electrical voltage in the UK, and a secondary voltage of 23 volts, that would tell us that the ratio between the two needs to be 230 divided by 23, or 
10. Now if we have 1000 turns on our primary coil, we need to choose a secondary coil that has enough turns to make the same ratio. So we want a ratio of 10, so a secondary coil with 100 turns should be right. Let's check that. So 230 divided by 23 will give us 10 and 1000 divided by 100 would give us 10.